Drawing biomorphic forms, you're going to be looking at a range of students' work and artists' work to inspire you. Other artists, like Ernst Haeckel, who looked at nature in detail, almost as if it's under a microscope, creating these strange, and looking at these very strange creatures that almost have an alien quality to them. Also Dan Zeller, they look like sections from a microscope. He used his imagination and a very fine pen to draw every detail within the sections um, that could look like cells or plant structures and even maps. You're going to create your own biomorphic form by carefully drawing with pen or pencil uh, a free-flowing shape that will then be developed into a biomorphic form, bio meaning biology, morph, morphing, changing, a changing biological form using your imagination and experiences uh, for, for natural forms like, like um, uh, scales, hairs, cell structures, and you're going to create something completely new. Sea creatures from the blue planet, the abyss, are on a fascinating uh, animal to look at with its sort of a really interesting, strange, surreal shapes that can give you lots of ideas for your own biomorphic form drawing that you'll be doing. Start slowly and sensitively with a free-flowing line. Let your hand just direct the line rather than pre-thinking what you want to achieve. Just see where your hand takes you. Um, I'm working with a curved line because curves often suggest movement. I don't want it to be too busy or too much going on. Um, just because it can get a bit confusing and you can lose the sort of form. So I might just finish it here. This will be my first form. Um, I think when I'm looking at it, I think it needs to be a bit more interesting. So be prepared to have a rubber at hand. I've got one on, on the end of the pencil. Um, I've got a little bit of blue tack here that also acts as a rubber. Um, it may need changing. Uh, I think it probably will. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to change it yet. What I might do is I might just start a second one in here so that the two look almost like uh, amoebas or cells underneath a microscope and that they are sort of moving in the same um, space together, existing, coexisting together. They might be different, but they may be formed from the same, or they may come from the same source. Um, right. Looking at that, that's the beginning of, a, of a two forms. So I've started to divide up this area here into little cell-like structures, um, you know, very much inspired by the work of Daniel Zeller here, uh, where he's created this almost brain, brain coral type of effect in his painting. Um, so I started on, on the outside and just let these kind of uh, fingers or spore-like forms start to grow out of the outer skin and you know even sort of dotting um, imagining that there's pollen or something coming out from these um from these uh finger-like growths that are coming out um or spores, plant spores, or fungus spores even. Um, and then just carrying the roots of these uh, forms 
back into the interior of the of your structure um you know dividing the space up like their cells and then working my way around um maybe getting larger the scale of the cell gets larger as we get into the main body of of your form um so getting smaller as it goes out to the tip you know things have a way of naturally tapering um and i might even sort of bridge that gap so that we've got this happening and then maybe another sort of nucleus inside Maybe we've got sort of fiber, fiber sort of tissue happening here. Linking this area to this area. So the drawing is evolving um, it's not pre-planned it is using uh, research it's, you know being inspired by official research that is around me um, I'm purposely not trying to make anything look figurative or representational um, you know the shape of your lines will create a sense of movement the way that you shade might will also do that. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to leave that there for, for now. You'll see how I developed the tone work here. Now, the way that I'm working, I'm just, I'm just, um, I'm not creating any strokes like this. I'm just sort of, building up my tone, uh, just using my pencil to create a kind of fuzziness, almost like a very, very gentle wire wall. Um, you could use hatching, you could use soft tone, 